Hello everybody, this is Clock TV, and I'm coming to you all with actually a bit of an update video because I'm sure a lot of you all have been curious about my Hamilton wall clock. As you all may know, I got this clock back in February from an antique store. However, when I got it, it was not working. If you haven't already seen my Instagram posts, I've been trying to fix it. However, I'm coming to you all with an update, and unfortunately, I was unsuccessful in repairing this. It is now broken beyond repair, so now this one is not running, unfortunately, until further notice. So you all are probably wondering, what was my solution in regards to this? Well, here's the truth. The truth is this. That's right. I decided to get myself an entirely new Hamilton. And as you can probably tell, this one has a lighter wood finish. But it has the exact same chime as the other one. Now, you all are probably wondering, why did I choose to just get an entirely new Hamilton and not just get a replacement movement? Well, here's why. As a bit of a reference, I'm going to use my old Ridgeway movement. This movement does not have a working spring in it, but I'm just going to use it as a reference as to why I replaced my Hamilton. So as you can see, there is a small little rod right here that's metal, and it presses against this, which is what latches on to this. So now you're probably wondering, what's next? Well, as you can see, this latches on to the gear, and this metal rod actually bends into it, and when I first got this clock, this rod was bent away from this, hence why this arbor would not wind. And as such, I tried to fix that by using needle nose pliers and bending it more towards this so that it would latch on. However, out of nowhere, this metal rod snapped in half. I know, that may come as a shocker, but it's true. It did snap in half. And as a result, I was not able to go any further because this rod is actually a very important piece. So hopefully that clarifies something. As you can see, this is what I'm talking about. So there you go. That is the primary reason behind this. So I know this video seemed a little short for being an update video. However, this is something I just want to clarify with you all because I'm sure a lot of you have been curious as to why it has taken me a while to post a video on my Hamilton. But I'm coming to you all with this update, and I'm happy to report that an in-depth look at this clock will be coming very soon. So stay tuned for that, because I love this clock already, even though I literally just got it. Because the chime is beautiful, and the case is stunning, and overall this is just a beautiful clock. But with that being said, I think this is just going to wrap up this video, so stay tuned for an in-depth look at this clock. I hope to get it posted rather soon. So with that being said, thank you all for watching this little update. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for the in-depth look, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, y'all.